Hi, welcome back to Real Auto Reports. I'm Jonathan McGrew, and today we have the 2012 Toyota Camry Hybrid. Now, if you're wondering why 2012 when they so late in the model year, we'll tell you about that during the video, but we have this 40 mile per gallon in town real review for you. So stay tuned and see what this car has to offer for you and your family. Hi, welcome back. So here we are today in the 2012 Toyota Camry Hybrid. This is actually the XLE model and uh, it's equipped with some really nice options like leather seats and navigation, satellite radio, dual climate control. I mean, this car really has the works and uh, of course, it also has the hybrid synergy system uh, from Toyota, which is uh, probably still considered one of the best hybrid systems on the market. So let's talk about some quick facts about this uh, 2012 Camry Hybrid. Um, one of the first things we want to mention is that this hybrid um, and this model year is a little late. So it's 2012, the 2013s are going to be coming out uh, if they aren't already on the lots today. So uh, don't have any fear though, the Camry is still a young design in the uh, Toyota Acumen and in the design theory. So the car you'll see for 2013 and the car that we have here for 12 are pretty similar. Um, so what we'll be telling you is uh, not going to be far off for 2013. And if you look at a late 2012, and you're probably going to get a really good deal. So back to those quick facts. I mean, this car as a hybrid is going to get 40 miles per gallon in town. It's going to get 38 miles to the gallon out on the freeway. Um, it starts at a at a base price of 27,400 and then after delivery our test car here is right about 35,500 um, and some change there. Um, so this is an interesting car because it can be a economical buy where you're getting great gas mileage or it can be more of a luxury buy where you're getting um, all the comforts that you might see in its uh, sister brand the Lexus or in competing brands like the Honda Accord or the Nissan Maxima or something similar to that. So what is the point of a hybrid really? And the, this is goes back to how you're going to use a car. I recommend a hybrid if you do a lot of in-town driving. The Camry here, again, is probably one of the best hybrid systems you can buy. Toyota has pioneered that market. It's smooth, it's quiet, it's a car that will stop and start uh, so that you have um, the best fuel economy possible. So when you're sitting and you start it right away, you might not even hear the engine start up when you first get in the car. If you sit there for a second, you'll probably feel it all of a sudden come on. That's it trying to give you the best uh, fuel economy possible. Something else that I think is really um, important to point out in these cars is that the hybrid system really relies on the driver to get the best value out of it. So this car has an eco mode. In the eco mode, it will change your throttle inputs. It'll change the shift points in the CVT Okay, so it's a CVT, it doesn't really have shift points, but it changes the way that that power gets transferred to the, to the wheels. And what it's really trying to do is make you drive more efficiently. And this system, like the Prius, is good at that. It's a system that will let you drive and not worry about how hard you're pressing on the accelerator because it's anticipating an eco mode that you're not intending to use a lot of fuel. So to get like passing power and to get a, a real leap off the line, you're going to have to really press the accelerator all the way down to the floor. And if you do that, it is a smart system. It will give you full power even when you're in eco mode. And that's really important because we've seen uh, on the little uh, tattletale gauge, if you will, or the little report gauge, when you turn the car off, it tells you how you did on that trip. We've seen economy numbers into the 50 and 60 miles per gallon driving around town if we're driving efficiently in eco mode. If you're not going to drive in eco mode and you're going to drive in the standard mode, 
you might want to look at just a regular Camry because in that instance, if you're not going to use the hybrid system to your benefit, it might not be worth the extra money. So let's talk about some of the features and benefits of this 2012 Camry Hybrid. This particular car, as I said, is about $35,000, $35,500. Um, it has a navigation system that with a touch screen, it's got the satellite radio. It has the leather, optional leather interior so that you um, get that luxury feel. These actually have suede inserts and are kind of a two-tone setup with a darker dashboard. It also has the, uh, obviously the hybrid system, but it also has the push button start and the smart or kind of intelligent key so that all you have to do is stick it in your pocket, touch the door handle, hit the start button and off you go. These are all really nice features that really elevate the feeling of a Camry. Camry still have that sense to me i mean i grew up in the 80s and 90s you know i'm 27 almost 28 and a camry to me still doesn't seem super exciting but then you get into this 2012 or possibly now a 2013 model uh, if you go to the lot and this car is actually pretty well designed it's not what i expected from toyota i haven't been in a camry probably in a couple years and i like the contrast stitching, the uh, the design of the dashboard, and it does have a nice driving feel. The steering's uh, heavier than some cars, but it's uh, got a nice road holding feel. You feel like you're in control, and you feel like you're really planted on the road in this car, while at the same time being fairly quiet inside, and the seats are what I would call comfortable. It's got the power lumbar that we really like here at Real Auto Reports. So, um, it's not going to be a sports car or a sports sedan, but it's going to be a really nice family sedan where uh, driving around in town with the hybrid, you're going to get that great 40 mile per gallon EPA estimated fuel economy. And as I said, you might get even better than that. We've been seeing anywhere from that 40 to over 55 to 60 miles per gallon, depending on how uh, economically I am driving and whether or not I have a need for speed. So who would buy a Camry hybrid? That, that's a good question. Um, I have always had a problem with the Prius and people are gonna go, oh, you're one of those Prius haters. No, I'm not a hater really. I just, I don't like the design of the car from the outside. It's not a car that excites me. The technology in the car has always excited me. I think what it's done for the automotive industry and for consumers and their uh, thought process and the ability to be green um, from, from a consumer perspective is really quite beneficial uh, to the world. Uh, the thing that I have never liked those, the, the design sense. I just not really that kind of swooped back, hatchback kind of guy. And I think that's who's gonna buy a Camry hybrid um, or any of these uh, great hybrids from Toyota. You've got the Highlander hybrid as well. A hybrid in this sense is a normal everyday car that you uh, might like the look of, that you are interested in owning, but you're looking for a little bit more um, economy and uh, getting a little bit more out of your money, as, so to speak, so that if you're an in-town driver all the time, you are being more environmentally friendly, you're getting to drive something you like the look of, and at the same time, you're getting the comforts and luxuries that you might uh, feel like you'd have to give up if you went to more of a Prius style of car. So that's why I think the people who will buy this Camry Hybrid are families that need a four-door sedan or the, uh, the business person that's making a lot of driving, uh, you know, driving calls to, to sales or meetings around town where they're just conscious of this uh, need to uh, put gas in the tank and they really don't want to do that. Uh, if they don't have to. So this 40 miles per gallon uh, in town is really attractive to them. Um, I think the other people that will look at this car are Toyota diehards. There is a strong fan following of Toyota products and especially the Camry. It's one of their best-selling models. 
and has been for a long time. And I think the more that they make it uh, more exciting, the design uh, in 2012, 2013 is one of the most exciting Camry designs they've probably put out. And like this car has the metallic uh, dark paint job with kind of a black that just fluoresces in the sun and uh, changes colors. It's kind of a chameleon. And it really just brings an extra edge to the Camry that uh, I think the Accord really used to to occupy this more exciting space. And I think the Camry is really encroaching on that from a design and value perspective. And I think that's why um, Toyota is really going to continue to keep a stronghold on the hybrid market because they have some of the best technology, some of the best economy figures. And now I really feel like they're stepping up in a design perspective where this is a, a nice car and you don't have to buy a Lexus to get the luxuries. And so it's something that uh, is really setting Toyota apart from probably their designs of 10 years ago. So that's the real review of the 2012 Toyota Camry Hybrid. So the hybrid is 40 miles per gallon in town, 38 miles per gallon out on the freeway. It does have a 2.5 liter four cylinder motor with the hybrid center G drive. This particular car comes in right about 35,500, but you can get a base Camry hybrid for 27,400 before delivery. So this car does span a wide range of financial options and it will keep your wallet safe when you go to the pump. So join us again at realautoreports.com and our YouTube channel for more and interact with us on Facebook. See you again. I'm Jonathan McGrew and we'll see you down the road. <laughs>